Online Home Building News brought to you by P Live and sponsored by Rehoboth Properties. Also, I'd like to remind you that the 2023 edition of the Ghana Housing Show is coming up on 23rd and 24th June at the Wembley Stadium in London. You can visit our website www.propertyexpress.org, register and be part in the headlines GRA debunks claims that it is engaging in illegalities by collecting property rates on behalf of the Metropolitan Municipal and District Assemblies. AFDB says African countries have the greatest potential for investment in green infrastructure and technology but still lag behind other regions. And in international news, commercial real estate has a rough road ahead as lending drives up Wall Street CEO says. <music> My name is Nanaya Ochrebia. Now the news in details. GRA debunks claims that it is engaging in illegalities by collecting property rates on behalf of the Metropolitan Municipal and District Assemblies. The Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, has debunked claims that it is engaging in illegalities by collecting property rates on behalf of Metropolitan Municipal and District Assemblies, MMDAs. The claim, which was leveled against the authority by the Chamber for Local Governance, Chalog, in a state statement issued on 31st May said the property rate tax was a ceded revenue for district assemblies as enshrined in section 124-3 of the Local Governance Act 2016, which is the Act 936 and could not be collected by any other institution other than the district assemblies. However, in a statement signed by the head of communication for the myassembly.gov.gh project of the GRA, the authority said the cited piece of legislation spoke to the revenue of district assemblies, but made no reference to the district assemblies collecting revenues on their own. It added that the article in question also said nothing about MMDAs not allowing other state agencies to assist them in collecting internally generated funds, which included property rates. Moving on, Lakeside Estate joins Green Ghana Project. The managing director of Lakeside Estate, Dr. Prince Joseph Ayiku, has urged residents of the Lakeside Estate and Guineans at large to keep up the good work of contributing towards reducing climate change impacts across the country. He said this when management of the Lakeside Estate joined the country's Green Ghana Project by planting more than 200 seedlings of trees at the Lakeside Hills within the Adentan municipality of the Greater Accra region. Dr. Prince Joseph Ayuku touching on the benefits of tree planting noted that such acts contributed to the resilience of communities by providing natural barriers against storms, floods, and other natural disasters. He said the decision to take part in the initiative is because of the commitment the Lakeside Estate has made to join the efforts of the government in addressing environmental degradation and making the environment more conducive for habitation. He further underscored the need for the public to be sensitized occasionally to the negative effects of pollution and adopt environmentally friendly practices to reduce pollution in their daily lives. By educating individuals about the sources and prevention of pollution, he mentioned that people would begin to take proactive steps to minimize pollution by reducing the use of harmful chemicals, practicing proper waste disposal, and promoting sustainable practices in industries and households. According to Dr. Ayuku, it was very important for children to be taught about the significance of environmental protection to instill a long-term mindset that emphasizes the significance of preserving and caring for the environment environments for future generations. Still in news, AFDB says African countries have the greatest potential for investment in green infrastructure and technology but still lag behind other regions. The lender says African countries have the greatest potential for investment in green infrastructure and technology but still lag behind other regions. Its latest regional economic outlook titled Mobilizing Private Sector Financing for Climate and Green Growth in Africa said Africa lagged behind Latin America and the Caribbean, North America, East Asia and Pacific and Europe. 
The continent, however, performs better than the Middle East, South Asia on green achievement. The report is based on green growth readiness assessments in Gabon, Kenya, Morocco, Mozambique, Rwanda, Senegal, and Tunisia. It was conducted in conjunction with the Global Green Growth Institute, GGGI. The survey shows high political commitment to green growth in the aforementioned countries, mainly supported by climate and green growth policies and strategies. But in several other countries, the survey notes limited evidence that climate and green growth strategies are aligned with sectoral policies and strategies. Please stay with us as we go for a short break. We'll be right back. The Ghana Housing Show 2023 is here. Ghana Property Awards and the Africa Property Magazine in conjunction with UK Partners. Eddie Nimdia Fuedia Dansi Mwakotene. Maitre Outstanding Real Estate Developers, Brokers and Professionals. Eba, the second edition of the Ghana Housing Show 2023. Jumedia Ibaso on the 23rd and 24th of June at Wembley Stadium, The Suite. The exhibition is on the 23rd of June and at the Diaspora Property Awards and Dinner Night. Air Twasso on the 24th of June from 7 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Minister for Works and Housing, Honorable Asensu Buache and the Ghana High Commissioner to UK, His Excellency Papa Ousu Ankuma, a special guest of honor for this event. Sansuna Oswafo, the Ghana Real Estate Development Association, Greda, Orua Patrick Bonfo, a Bejume Diasibi, Mr. Tourism, Abeku Santana is the MC for the occasion. Any developer, contract a broker or estate agent of free Ghana ever register for Jumedia using the website www.ghanapropertyawards.com forward slash diaspora.2023 or send an email to info at ghanapropertyawards.com for registration link. Kaya Tors, a official travel consultant for Obibia of Free Ghana, Eba Jumedia UK, Fred Rainbow Radio for the awards and dinner night tickets, or visit eventbrite.co.uk and search for the Ghana Housing Show 2023. Jumedie Upe Hunchima Freddy's numbers 050-4439-463 or UK Fred plus 44740-471-4332 or 0200-111-066. Email info at ghanapropertyawards.com. The Ghana Property Show is brought to you by Sukasa Properties, powered by Adum Group with support from Manet Group. E Walls Realty and Consultancy, Rehobot Properties, Nala, Gulf City Development Limited, Lemonade Finance, at Doom City Estates, and Ace Heights Limited. Exclusive media partners Rainbow Radio 92.4 FM UK and 87.5 FM in Ghana. So Ghana or any part in the UK, don't miss this exciting opportunity to network and step into property prosperity at the Ghana Housing Show 2023. Do you need a place with a stunning view and serene environment just beneath the Green Mountains with a commercial center and recreational area with an amazing park? Then look no further. Hello, sir. Hi. Welcome to Rehoboth Havens, the most affordable yet luxurious gated community located in Damfa, Accra. We have two and three bedroom houses with spacious park. Let me show you. All of our rooms come with beautiful porcelain tiles. Durable fitted kitchen cabinets. Constant water supply. Electricity and water 24 seven. I'm what? buying this house. Hmm? Stop processing my papers. Eh? Move it, move it. If you're living in Ghana and want an affordable and luxurious house to buy, look no further than Rehoboth Social Housing Limited. Oh, and to those from the diaspora, aren't you tired of living in places that doesn't belong to you? You can also own your house and be your own landlord from Rehoboth Social Housing Limited. I have my own, but also landlord. <laughs> Contact us now. Rehoboth Social Housing. Your housing dream becomes reality. Welcome back from the break. Now we move our attention to the U.S. Wall Street CEO Howard Ludnick says commercial real estate has a rough road ahead as lending dries up. The BGC partner CEO warned those factors may spell trouble.
for the embattled industry. He told CNBC that U.S. stocks will also be weighed down slightly. Commercial real estate faces a painful combination of steeper borrowing costs and stricter lending to the sector, which could prevent the Federal Reserve from raising interest rates further, according to the Wall Street CEO. Howard Ladnick, the CEO of Cantor Fezirad, and BGC partners warned that the tricky backdrop means the commercial property market faces a tough time and U.S. stocks could fall as well. Ladnick forecasted that out of $1.5 trillion of commercial real estate loans coming due over the next three years, the borrowers of $500 billion of that figure would have to give up their properties, putting lenders in a tough spot. Experts on Wall Street and other market observers have warned of stress brewing in the commercial property market due to higher borrowing costs following the Fed's aggressive interest rate hikes and lenders pulling back following the recent banking fiasco. Ladnick also warned that regional banks are in big trouble and will eventually consolidate, adding that the Fed has to allow bigger banks to buy them. That's all for news. Thank you for staying with us and a very big thank you to Rehoboth Properties for sponsoring. For more news, kindly visit our website www.propertyexpress.org. You can also reach us on social media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn at Property Express. This has been PE Live. My name is Nanaya Otrebia. Have a good time.